Anglin Lake is a reservoir created in 1939, made up of four small sections. And with these important stats, Anglin Lake earns the kayaking score 8 out of 10. Let's take a closer look. In the south end of the lake is the Spruce River Dam. On the west end is the inflowing Spruce River. The other main inflow, Bitter Creek, is found in the north end of the lake. In the middle is the village of Anglin Lake. Not far from there is the Anderson Point Campground, which is where we will be camping. This is a list of things for us to see at Anglin Lake. 1. The Dam 2. The Spruce River 3. Bitter Creek 4. The Village 5. The Anderson Cabin and 6. The Fire Tower It's too late to get started Friday night, but by Saturday morning the adventure will begin. We will drive to the south end of the lake it's very foggy, but nevertheless, a great day to go kayaking. So, what do we think of today, folks? This, this, this. Frog, another frog. No bait this weekend, we're gonna fish like real fishermen. And I guess we know we're gonna catch fish. It's not a maybe. Let's bring them out. All right. We'll start by tossing this spoon in the middle of the lake. There we go. Oh, he gets off, eh? Okay, Let's see if we can get this guy. It's just a little baby. There he is. There we go. This wouldn't be the same guy, would it? Oh, he gets off. We are now approaching the Spruce River Dam. This is the most recent dam holding up Anglin Lake, built in 1960. It replaced the Tower Road dams, which we will visit later in this video. The original dams were opened every spring to assist in floating logs to Prince Albert. Such practices have since stopped, and the modern dam is nothing more than an embankment with a spillway, holding the water up to a certain level. Sometimes the upriver side of a dam can be a good place to catch fish, but with no luck, it's time to move along. We'll paddle north past the pump house to an area of tall reeds and shallow water, where I'll continue to cast the same spoon. Huh. I honestly don't think I deserve to catch this guy. Dinks are us out here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh. 
that's the little baby. We are now back at the pump house, where water is taken from Anglin Lake, pumped up a hill, then flows downhill into Emma Lake. The water ends up rejoining the Spruce River after a roughly 40 kilometer detour. The diversion began in 1961, but the pump house we see today was built in 1997. It also is a fine place for this morning's paddle to conclude. So let's head back to camp. The park provides a cart to help carry firewood and other belongings. I have a feeling this will come in handy. We will now walk to the Anderson cabin, following the new and old signs. This was the home to Alex and Emma Anderson, who made their living trapping and fishing the Anglin Lake area. The cabin was opened to the public in 2000, and following a renovation in 2017, should remain open for years to come. It's on a lakefront property, with its own dock and boathouse. Now that we've seen the Anderson cabin, I'll begin chopping wood for tonight's supper. Just as I thought, the wood cart was very helpful at transporting the kayak to the water. We will now begin paddling toward the village of Anglin Lake. It's an unincorporated community consisting of less than 100 cabins. Almost all of them are lakefront and along the east side of the narrowing that divides the two largest sections of Anglin Lake. There are many docks and in the summer months this can be a very lively section of the lake. The narrowing eventually opens up into the second largest section of Anglin Lake where I decided to toss my lucky spoon. There it is. We will now begin the short paddle back through the narrowing and across the lake toward the campground. We can see the site of the Anderson cabin from the side of the lake. We will now get off the lake, load our boat back onto the wood cart, and start our campfire. For supper, cheese smokies, a staple of the kayaker's diet. And for the rest of the night, 
nothing but sitting around the campfire relaxing. The next morning, we will be kayaking to the Spruce River. The weather is basically perfect for our two kilometer paddle. On our way, we will enter the Prince Albert National Park. Be advised that one must have both their provincial and federal fishing licenses to fish these waters. The lake starts to get very shallow here, so topwater lures are a must. This wasn't quite everything I hoped it would be. Sort of hoping for like a deep spot. Because this lake is held up by a dam, there are many parts that were once above the water's surface, now just a few feet below. The only place where there are no aquatic plants is the old river channel, because it's several feet deeper than the surrounding area. So what's going on is we've got a flooded river because they dammed the lake. If I can find the channel, it should be a good spot to fish. Nice. Actually a decent sized fish. Do the thing. Do the thing. I know you can do it. We will now paddle toward the old dam. In its current state, it just looks like a thin strip of land, barely above the lake's surface. However, this is a historic part of the lake. Perhaps the whole reason anyone lives here today. It also seems to be a great place to find bait fish, and therefore there should be a larger fish nearby. There we go. That's what we've been looking for this whole time. There we go. I got you quite literally where I want you. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Get this shot again. Buddy, you're free. We will now head back to the Anglin Lake Bridge, which makes for a nice spot to get off the lake. Next, we will make the short hike to the fire tower. Today, it's a digital tower, fully automated. Historically, they look like this, and it was someone's job to keep an eye out for wildfires. They got to live in this cabin, which nowadays is available to stay in free of charge. It's an interesting glimpse into a past life and another neat job taken by automation. We've now seen the fire tower and the only thing left on the list is to see Bitter Creek. So we'll set off in a two person boat with pops up front each of us casting a spoon to troll behind. Oh, I got a, something going on here. It'd be so cool if it was a fish, but it would probably just snag. Seeing that I've got a bite, Pops starts casting. <laughs> awesome, okay, we got a good spot then. Do you want to handle this? I got the stuff ready to rumble. Let's try it. Yep, that's all it took. We have now made it to Bitter Creek. It's surrounded by muskeg, once again, likely a symptom of the dam raising the water levels, flooding what used to be the shore. We will now begin paddling our way back to camp, thus completing the list of things to see at Anglin Lake. Now it's time to relax. 
We'll get a fire going and cook up some steak and potatoes to celebrate our accomplishments. This will wind down the evening and the time we spend at Anglin Lake. So thanks for joining me on the adventure of Anglin Lake. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel, liking and subscribing helps a lot. Thanks for watching.